Hey guys, how's it going? Snowball here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this really nice looking wireframe effect. It's done in Cinema 4D and I'm going to be showing you how to do it on 3D text. But this effect is not limited to 3D text, you can do it on practically anything you're working on in Cinema 4D. So yeah, let's get into it. In Cinema 4D I've already made my 3D text that I'm working on. So I'm, I want to make a wireframe of this. The way you do this is simply go to the render settings, go down to effect and select cell render like so and now that that is enabled if we preview you sort of get that outline that you want for your wireframe like so so go ahead render that out I've already done that to save some time for the tutorial so if you go back to the render settings back to the cell render you'll notice that there's a lot more options in that uh, tab for example, there's a thing called edges, which I'll explain in a bit. What edge color is, is basically the outline, and what background color is, is basically just, yeah, what literally the background color. I normally leave these at black and white, but obviously you guys can mess around with it, do what you want. And now, what edges does, it sort of makes a whole new look for the wireframe. So if I render this out, as you see, it sort of adds more points, it adds more lines around the curves and stuff it has quite a nice look so I'm just gonna render that out also which I've already done so if I go back into Photoshop I'm gonna just min uh, hide all these layers if I just open those files that I've got like so open these up and first of all if I just move my normal 3d text into that full into that uh, file like so and then I'm gonna have this other this normal wireframe behind it so I'm just gonna drag that drop it and what you want to do is click and drag till it locks onto the previous onto the actual 3D one. Then I'm just going to bring it underneath. Command or Control T to pop up the resizing. I'm going to make it a little bigger and tilt it like that. But as you see, it sort of looks. It doesn't really look that good as I've shown the example that I had before. The way you want to fix this is just go to Image and. Uh, image adjustments invert as you see so image adjustments invert so this basically inverts the colors and so what was black became white and like that but still it doesn't really look that good the way you want to go about this is change the blending mode to either lighted screen or linear dodge so that's what I'm going to use and there you go that sort of gives it that um, transparent wireframe look and you can obviously duplicate this layer to make it a bit more brighter like so so now I'm gonna get this edges one into the same file and put it on top of my text so drag it on top of your text click and drag till it locks onto your text like so and then simply like we did before image adjustments invert and make it as a linear dodge so basically guys, that's how to make your wireframe design, wireframe effect in Cinema 40. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It really like motivates me to make more videos for you guys. And yeah guys, this has been Snowball. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Peace out.